the epitome of unwavering strength over adversity, words that have been used to describe the vice chairperson of the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, the late Mary Onyango, a woman who for the last 11 years shared about her journey with cancer in a drive to change the stigma of breast cancer in Kenya. My, my, my childhood is that uh, one of the things that uh, happened is that uh, my father was very close to us, especially the girls, um, and I think that inspired a lot of confidence in us because uh, women tend to derive more of their strength from their uh, male, the male figures in their, in their lives, uh, just as uh, men derive a lot of strength from the female figures in their lives. And in what was to be her last interview with Citizen TV Monday, the then vice chairperson of the National Cohesion and Integration Commission continued to make a positive contribution to facilitate and promote a Kenyan society whose values are harmonious and non-discriminatory for peaceful coexistence and integration. At the end of the day, what we are trying to do is to create a nation have an agenda that goes beyond the individual, an agenda that goes beyond your family, an agenda that goes beyond your ethnic community, your religious community, an agenda that really is Kenyan. A cause that she has continued to fight for throughout her term. Her death turning the spotlight on the fight on cancer in Kenya that continues to claim the lives of many, mostly due to late diagnosis. Many people take it very badly. Um, I believe that everybody has their portion of life. Um, and even if I didn't have cancer, if I was going to die today, I would die today. She was the founding member and executive director of the Kenya Breast Health Program. She holds a Bachelor of Commerce degree in accounting from the University of Nairobi, an MBA in finance and a Master's degree in public health from Kenyatta University. Mary Onyango was 64 years old. Salim Bilu, Citizen at One.